Welcome to episode 13 in this series where we're building a Flutterflow application and we're using Superbase to provide data to our front end. Hope you've been enjoying the series so far. This episode, we're gonna focus on correcting some issues that we come across with using triggers within the previous episode. Uh, incidentally, if you are new to Superbase and you wanna learn a little bit about triggers, please have a look at the previous episode in this series, episode 12, because it gives you a good intro to, to how to use triggers within Superbase. But we're gonna use this episode to correct a few problems that we stumbled upon in our previous uh, lessons. So uh, without further ado, let's get cracking. So let's look at the first problem that we're going to solve then as referenced in the previous episode. So of course, here I've got my test goal. Okay, so if I go in there, you can see I've got a couple of test tasks that I've actually created. If I mark the test task one and task two there as completed, if I go back, we correctly see that we've got two tasks and then we've got two which are completed. But the problem occurs, of course, now when I go back into this one and then I actually delete one of these out. If I delete that out and go back, you'll see here that I've still got two actually marked as completed but of course I've only now got one task so we need to go back over to Superbase now and we need to get that sorted so let's do that now so back in Superbase then let's just make sure our database is correctly set up now just for us to continue with this particular episode so on the goals table here I've just clicked on the table editor gone to goals if you have a look here we just want to make sure that we where it says number of task one we just want to make sure that we've got this set as one task of one complete because in the task table we know that we've got one task in there and it's marked as true there so we just make sure that we've got the proper syncing of our goals with our tasks and of course if you've got multiple tasks in there and all that kind of stuff then I recommend you kind of delete all of that up out and just leave yourself then with one goal with one completed task and that sets us up quite nicely then to continue the examples with inside the episode. Okay, so let's now focus on solving our problem. So on the left hand side, just make sure you've got database selected and you go down and choose functions. We're going to want to change this a particular um, sort of uh, a function with inside Superbase because it's this function that handles the insert and the deletions of our tasks. And of course, this problem is occurring because we have a task marked as complete, but we're deleting the actual task itself. So what we need to do is if we go over to the right hand side here, click the little the three dots there click on the edit function and then you'll be into this familiar territory that you see before with us now modifying the definition of the uh, of the actual uh, sort of function itself so we know we're okay in the insert section we know that we're um, we're uh, as soon as we add a task in that we're increasing the number of tasks we know that we're inside the delete section so this is the bit that we're going to need to make some changes to okay so we're going to be deleting a task but what we're going to need to do is we're now going to have to check to see is that task completed if that task is marked as completed then we then got to reduce the number of tasks completed with inside our goals uh, uh, sort of record okay Okay, so the way that we do that is we make some changes just in here. So where the where we've got this where we don't want to we just want to put some spaces in between here, and we're now going to put another if check in here. Okay, and we just want to check to see if the old record is marked as complete. And the way that we do that is this: we type in if. And then we just do the open brackets again and we're going to say old dot complete so this is the old database record okay is is marked as complete then then down here we just then need to then uh, i'll always put a, an end if in here as well just because it just completes the set here and this is where we need to then put in an additional update now to actually set the correct state of the database record so we're going to do update goals because that's what we're going to need to update and if I just do that here and we want to do set okay and the number of tasks complete and then equal the number of tasks complete and of course we're going to want to reduce it okay so we're just going to do minus one there okay now that is um, that's important and we also just need to mark this then as the uh, of the the where option as well so just uh, choose uh, just type in where okay and then we say ID equals the old record so this is the record that we've got here at the moment is then matched to the goal ID so very very similar to kind of what we have done 
previously. And we're just gonna mark that then with a semicolon at the end. Now we've got just uh, here, we're just gonna, we wanna make sure that we just bring that up there. So just keep it nice and complete. And that is all that we actually need to do. So what we're saying, just to recap then, um, if, if we have a record that is currently marked as complete, we're going into the actual goals table. We are then, uh, uh, we're then setting the, the number of tasks complete to, to reduce by one because we're technically we're deleting that actual task in the first place. So that is all that we actually need to do. So if we just go down to confirm down here, just hit confirm, then we know that we get an update there and that should work quite nicely for us. So then let's pop back into Flutterflow. Let's try carrying out that scenario again and making sure this works for us. We'll do that now. So here we are then with our running application, just as we were before. You can see here that we've got two tasks here where none are complete. So let's just click on that and you can see that represented here. Now, of course, I can then mark this one as complete. I can mark this one as complete. If I go back, you can see that is correctly now two of two. Now, let's try now carrying out that deletion and see if we get a reduction then on this value. This should say one and then this should say one as well. So let's just mark this. Let's go into the deletion option. We can go back. And there we go, one of one. So we know that we've just solved that particular problem. We've got everything now nicely in step. Okay, so we're making really good progress so far, but yet we have another problem and let me demonstrate it to you. Okay, so we go into the test goal here and this is all looking pretty good. We've just demonstrated that we can, you know, delete tasks or we can do all of that, all of that good stuff. But the problem we've got, of course, is that we hear that we've got two of two, which is correct. The current status is right. We've got two kind of completed tasks. The issue comes now, of course, when we go to try updating one of these. If I just hold this down here and then update the task here, I'll just put some more content in here and hit update task. Great, that's looking good. If I go back, uh oh, we've got a problem. Okay, so we've got now three this now set. So we've got three completed tasks when actually we've only got two. So what on earth is is going on? Let's go back to Superbase and let's make a slight correction to stop that from happening. Okay, so then we're back in Superbase. So let's have a look at this particular problem and how we're gonna solve it. So on the left-hand side here, I've got database selected, I've got functions, and here you can see that we've got now our two functions in view. We want to make a change to this particular function here. So just move over to the right-hand side and click the three dots and then click edit function, and that should get us back into this familiar view. Okay, so what is going on here then? So we know that every time that we do an update with our tasks, that this particular function is gonna run. Okay, so what's happening is, is that we are, regardless whether we're just setting the completion status to either be complete or incomplete, which is true or false in our, in, in our case, then this is always gonna run. So of course, when we can then go to do an update of some text, like the title or the description, it's gonna drop into this function and then it's gonna carry out both of these particular tasks here. Now, we, we may not be changing the completion the actual completion status when we're doing a, a title change or a description, but of course every time it's going to go in here and it's going to end up making um, calling out to these particular updates. So that's why we're going to continually see this mismatch in the uh, the number of tasks complete. So how do we stop that from happening? Well, what we've got to do is we've got to tell this function to only perform an update when we are making a change to the actual complete um a value within inside the actual record itself. So whether we're just marking something as complete or incomplete. And the way that we do that is we have to put another, um, uh, some additional syntax in here, another condition to actually prevent this function from actually uh, moving down into this area. And we do that really simply, okay. So let's just put an and in here. And then I'm gonna say that the new record dot complete, if it's not equal to the old, dot complete, then what it will mean is that it will completely then not drop into here. So if we've made no change to the um, the actual completion uh, update, we've not, we've not made anything complete or incomplete, then it will not drop within inside this part of the actual function, which is exactly what we want to do. So if we can now just confirm this, that is now all updated for us and we can now go back into Flutterflow and we can now test that out.
So here we are then back in Flutterflow. As you can see, we're right back to where we were. We've got two tasks completed and two tasks in total. If I press on the goal itself, let's now manipulate these. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold down the left mouse button here. I'm just gonna make a change here. Let's just get update. And we should expect to still see two of two, which we do. So we no longer have got that problem, which is great. So it looks like everything is now correctly configured in the use of triggers with inside our application. So let's move on to the next bit. So there you go, that's a wrap then for episode 13 in this ongoing series. Hope you've been enjoying it so far and hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about Superbase triggers and how they can complement your no-code development. So um, please do like the video and of course please do subscribe to the channel as well. If you love these types of videos, it'll be great to have you part of the community. And of course until the next one, we'll see you real soon.